number of the companies have put together what they call incubators or hubs uh, or accelerators you know and they you know these mechanisms are meant to partner with fintech firms to figure out where the business cases are to figure out where the the, the opportunities are and and to work together to find you know um, this new era in financial services you know what we're beginning to see is in the initial days it was a lot more for ah you know fintech firms are going to take over the banks and so on and we're beginning to see the the tactic that's emerging is a partnership model rather than a you know a, a contentious model although banks have always been uh, relatively strong adopters of tech uh, through their history. Because of the way in which we, we manage risk, because of the size and complexity of our offerings and the way our organizations work, we tend to be too slow um, to get leading edge innovation to market quickly. Um, how do we compete in an area where customers are becoming more and more demanding and they're demanding better services here and now? Um, the best way for us is to do that through partnerships where we can utilize people, expertise, capability, innovation, IP that lives outside of our organization. In the same way, a lot of the fintechs that started out and said, hi, you know, we're going to eat your lunch and no one will use anything but us to do an international currency transfer, have realized that um, the banks have something that they don't. They have capital, um, so they can pay for the very expensive um, uh, market development that needs to happen in order to get these products out there. They have the trust of their existing clients, so their clients are prepared to um, trust them with, with money, and they have a big existing client base. By definition, they have to collaborate. So we, for instance, we facilitate payments as part of the service that, that, that we strive to kind of improve for our customers but we're not a payment company. So we interface to a whole bunch of FinTech and traditional banking companies to make the whole payment process, financing process a lot easier. So I think they, and they go hand in glove and it's, there's no separation. The FinTechs themselves they might have great ideas, might be nimble, but they haven't got the scale to move fast enough, right? And the corporates maybe have the footprint, maybe have the, the capital, but don't have the nimbleness to, to implement solutions fast enough. And I think the model that works isn't one or the other, it should be almost a collaborative effort, which, and this is one of the, the use cases I'm starting to see that works, where a large corporate invests in the FinTech, maybe they get a minority stake in the FinTech, and then the fintech goes and implements and uh, grows and then the more they hit targets, the more investments they get. And that, I think that becomes a very collaborative approach, especially when the large corporate has a, a vested stake in the fintech and maybe with time will like to pull it into, into say the bank or whatever corporate it is. It's a very interesting question. You know, I, th I think the, the tendency is towards collaboration because I think there's a, a general acceptance now that if I don't adopt new technology from a company side, I'm going to get left behind. And I think it's that fear of being left behind is what drives the openness to listen to new things. And that, but I, I, you know, having previously been in corporate for 30 years, I also know that that has been a shifting plane for the last 10 years or so. You know, if we're talking about five to eight years ago, then I think people say, no, I, I don't want to try anything new. But now th there's a fear of being left behind. So it's like, okay, I've got to embrace this and figure this out. I would say under the umbrella of industry, Industry really is here to drive industry, and it's an engaged audience. So we have very curious institutions who four years ago may have had a single prong approach, aka they may have had an investment arm, they may have had a, a, an accelerator, they may have done quite a bit of thought leadership. Now they're looking at a very optimized hybrid approach. Then the startup system themselves, they are really, the narrative shifted. The narrative shifted away from big institution versus fintech to a true collaboration and understanding that together they're going into the future of finance. <laughs>